Well, the mission's done at the very least, and uh, I did need to get back to the control point. And now I've got some ability points I can spend. Uh, ooh, max out launch damage. Or hold off and get more energy. Let's max out launch damage. I really want that, I want that launch to be scary. Weapon form, oh. Oh, I can see the third grip upgrade. Untapped potential. Ooh. I need some more remote thoughts. So, that's not bad though. That would be good. Oh, Pierce also needs that untapped potential. And Charge also needs untapped potential. <laughs> I guess untapped potential is just the universal Here's the rank three upgrade. Anyway, let's head to the upper Panopticon. Now, I need to get my ass up to the fifth floor. Question is, can I find me an elevator that will do it? Probably, possibly, maybe? Or maybe I can just cheat my way up there through the, uh, through the levitation. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh yeah, I, I should probably be able to get up there with levitation. Yep. Say hello, fifth floor. Also, say hello, game-breaking traversal ability, because damn. This is freaking cool. P6 cell silver. <gasps> the swan! The swan that keeps throwing people! I remember reading about this. I love seeing all these things we've been reading about. That's a party balloon. What does that do? Suffocate you to death? Headshot boost mod, high ranking one too. There's the water cooler that keeps changing. Dylan. P6 cell. He's so close. Oh. Oh, there's some shit went down in here. Uh. Oh, oh, I see. It's kind of like an airlock. Oh. Ooh. This is not good. This is not good. Bad things happened in this room. Very bad things happened in this room. Come on. Jesse. Emily? Emily, ooh. 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 That shit's been outward. Are you there? That's Jesse. not Emily? good. He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Listen, Dylan's here. With us. What? He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. The hell? Okay. We need to get back. Oh. I have to see my brother. Ooh, the face of the enemy. Speak with enemy. <gasps> oh, both of my side quests just, uh, just cycled. Like, both of them. And I do not have the level 6 clearance I need. Hang on, I'm gonna have a buttload of things to read, it looks like. Dylan Fade in Observation. 9.30, breakfast. Just about to noon, gets out of bed, gets out of bed, uses toilet, returns to bed, asks for television to be turned on, staff do so, lunch, breakfast is removed, eats lunch, uses toilet again, begins talking to self, recording speech is not possible due to noise from TV, becomes upset, throws lunch tray at glass, gets sedated at 4 p.m., crew clean the cell, turn off the TV, 6 p.m., comes to, asks for television to be turned on, staff refuse this time. Television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior. I've got some case files. Hmm. 
Oh, uh, anchor procedures, I'm guessing, right? Yep. Yep, there we go. Black rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surfaces rusted in places. Weight, damn near two tons. The item generates a persistent black sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically bleh and bleh feet from the from the bleh of the eye anchor. Oh jeez. Ranger first class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at bleh AM EST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, his oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during bleh entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails. Within an hour of one another, Ranger Bleh has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Okay. Oh, hold on. I saw a hotline. I saw a hotline. Now the board wants to talk about control points, huh? What do you guys have to say? We reach Tether through control points into the Bureau House. Nexus threshold area codes allows for access. You can translocate fast travel construct through the control points. Huh. Yeah, I kind of figured all that out already, though. Okay, I do want to explore this room. I really do. Uh, why am I going up? Why is the stairs taking me up? I mean, I don't mind the stairs taking me up, but I'm just interested. Anything over here? This would be very odd if there was nothing over here, but I guess there is nothing over here. Hmm. Not seeing anything. <laughs> uh, I don't have to clear that. The face of the enemy? Oh, right, that's just my main mission. Speak with Emily. Ah, there is a chest in here. I thought there had to be a chest or something in here. Ah, remote thoughts. Always needed. Need those for a lot of my upgrades. Oh, Dylan, did you leave me any paperwork or anything to look at? Other than the very obvious Jesse right there. No? Alright. Hmm. Alright, don't need to float no more. And fortunately, I can't get to the level 6 section. Okay. What did the game want me to do about this one guy? Fridge duty. Assist the agent in the panoptic cell for floor. Now let's head back and see him then. Come on. Oh, waiting for this thing is frustrating. There we go. Alright, well, I'm on the fifth floor. I just need to go down one, huh? Levitate! OP shit. Where was this guy with the fridge? There's the control points. I think he should be like one or two over here. There he is. Hey, dude! Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back! Oh, thank you, thank you! If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here! The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Oh, he should still be around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go he's uh, kind of pain in the ass. Please hurry. My eyes, they can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. Yep. What's your name? This is the sort of thing that you should be divvying up amongst a couple people. My, my, my like, seriously. And I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Like, seriously, dude, you can just go one eye at a time. Speak with Langston. I'm, I'm still expecting this guy to just go squish while I'm not looking. All right, I could take the fast travel, but honestly, just jumping down the holes faster. 
Like, seriously. That's third floor, which I don't need. That's second floor. That's the archives. That's first floor. <laughs> and I am on the wrong side. I need to be on the south side. Getting back up! Not quite so easy, although there's an elevator I can take, which does speed this up just a touch. Or at that point, I might just take the fast travel back to the upper floor. Hey, Langston! Let me in! So many cell breaches. I guess life's a breach, huh? That's bad. <laughs> that was really bad, man. Seriously. Philip up in a cell? He's watching the refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. <laughs> day, I totally forgot. He's oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. About him? <laughs> There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benicoff EV. But I will have dealt with one of them. I think it's Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door. Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. But uh, we need a replacement for the fridge. Gun door open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. Huh. I'll figure something out. Maybe I can Everything placate the thing. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. No, no, he does not. And nothing new here. I'll see you later, Langston. All right, let's go save Phillips' ass. Like always. All right, let's take the quick trip up to Upper Panopticon. Damn! I said quick, but that was instant fucking taneous. Hello, Jesse. I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on. Thank you, thank you, Jesse. The fridge is doing something. Philip? Oh God, damn it! Philip. <sighs> if I look away, it hurts me. Oh my God! It ate him. It freaking ate him. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Former. Former, what the hell? It sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. What the fuck? Oh, oh shit! What? The actual is? Oh, I just fell through the floor, didn't I? Oh my! I think I just found a boss. Oh my goodness. What did I walk into? Well, at least this control point is very close by. Of course, am I going to have to hear poor Philip getting crunched Hello. again? Jesse? Jesse? The fridge is doing something! Philip? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, the poor guy does not deserve that. Employee incident. Incident in question occurred on bleh and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports sustained by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a home cut sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blanked his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's commands to desist. Recommendation, Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the work week. The review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. Huh. All right, let's try this again. That was a thing. It hurts me. Like what in the actual is this and also I cannot believe I fell through the goddamn floor. This sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Yep. 
That was my line. Yeah, we're just gonna go the fuck over here. Ow! Okay, those, uh, those sting. Oh, you don't like it when I shoot you in the eyeball, do you? <sighs> oh, I can shoot those things out from him. Where'd you, which way did you go, George? Which way do you, hi! Oh god, it's got tentacles! Oh god, it's got tentacles! Oh my god, it's got tentacles! Hi! Hello! Nope! Holy shit! Oh, there's another hole. Hi! Jesus, my HP is gone. No! Oh, I got wrecked. Oh. Oh, this thing is a thing. If I look away, it hurts me. Well, I don't plan on looking away. I only plan on doing one thing to this thing, and that's kicking its ass. This sounds like the board, but I... I can't understand it. Fuck? Yeah, that's my line. Shit! Can't see, can't see, can't move. Yeah, you don't like it when I throw shit at you, do you? don't like that. I'm getting the headshot notification. Maybe that is a headshot. Hmm. Let's try swapping that out. Where's my headshot damage booster? Is definitely considered a headshot. Oh, I got him! I got him! <laughs> oh, that was a freaking thing! The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? I guess I saw a hotline pop up. I also saw a new... Oh, that's the untapped potential. A case file. Yeah, a new case file popped up. I saw that. Where are you? Which one is it? Refrigerator procedures. There you are. No unique procedures required. Interesting. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon, crayon illustrations by Bleh, aka a little girl. The illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it served in as appliance in apartment Bleh, rented by a man named Bleh. His mother was very uncreative. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Bleh, who was out of the building at the time of collapse, blank blank BM, retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Appendix. New altered effect has been observed. See file a AL10F for details. Huh. Hotline. You're gonna talk to me what the hell this thing was, huh, Bureau? Like, seriously, what the frick was that thing? 
the former descent is back, not gone. It is previous disappointment and is not part of the board us. We apologize, deny all knowledge for the inconvenience. You will see face the former. It is stealing, linking, altered items. Oh! It builds a competition, not us. You must espionage, destroy, when possible, inevitable. Do not believe, get hyped. About the former's lies, ads. We provide offer, better, bonus package, health plan. <laughs> if you leave, you will be sorry, dead, oh. And you will never work exist in this torn cosmic reality again. Yes. <laughs> that thing was its competition? Oh dear. Oh dear. Also, sorry, Philip. Sorry you got eight you got eight by the damn fridge. You didn't deserve that. No, you did not. Actually, considering how fast that was, and because I need to head down to research anyway. For a few reasons. One, I apparently have a bureau mission down there in research, go to parapsychology, and old growth is just recycled. Let's do this one. Plus, I've got more ability points to spend. And these ones I am going to save because I want this max energy. Astral research parapsychology. Oh, geez. I hear the beeping already. Yes, I'm here. This is parapsychology, right? This is the elevator to parapsychology. I'm going the wrong way. Now I'm officially in parapsychology. Personnel protection. Hi! Oh, we are starting off with a bang! Yeah, I'll throw shit at you. Secure the area, protect remaining FPC agents. Yeah, I can throw shit at you all day, good sir! And my headshots hurt now. There we go. Big named guy out of the way. Let's start claiming a few extra people here. Because I need them. Because this is going straight to the dogs. Holy cow. Oh, there's a cluster. There's a cluster. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did that cluster go? Oh, God. Speaking of cluster... This whole thing is just turned into a clusterfuck. I can barely see. Holy cow, get out of here. There's so many of you guys. Where is that goddamn cluster hiding? There you are. Get out of here. Oh, fudge. Nope! Holy cow. There, I gotta start picking these things off. Oh, that's a high level guy. Get back here, you son of a bitch! Oh, kiss hell. Kill his elevated and research using launch. Oh, right, that's that mission. Who are you aiming for? I'm over here. Jesus, this place is a war zone. Holy F, you. trying to melee that guy seriously whoa knock that off ah oh, the other guy died 
son of a bit. Oh, there was a named up here too. Oh, hi there. Whoa! -ho -ho! Woo! No wonder that poor guy couldn't make it. There was so much shit going on up here and I couldn't get to him. Aw, oh, the poor brain model went boom. All right, let's head to Central Research. <sighs> All right, let me change missions again. This time, it's time to take on that. Whatever the hell is going on in old growth. Oh, I gotta go back and finish fridge duty, son of a bitch. Eh, I'll do that in a little bit. I needed to come here first anyway. This one was time, or the uh, the research mission was timed. <laughs> ah, that makes getting down this so much faster. Hmm. Not gonna speed going up any, unfortunately. Hey guys, check it out. I can fly! I finished synthesizing the samples. About bloody time. Seriously. Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. The source? So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Oh, that's good. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Sure, why the hell good not? Good idea, Jesse. Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? That would have been nicer, honestly. Please, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. Oh, that I see. The pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. <laughs> I see. Part of the, uh... Hello. You have new topics to talk to. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a butt coming. Yeah, and a big one, too. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. Oh. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. That is an interesting philosophy. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated <laughs> hierarchies, then yes. I hate to say it, but that's how the However, system works. I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. Hmm. He always needs to be the hero. Fair enough. All right, Underhill's background. So tell These characters me are so, like, the Bureau. eccentric. Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. Ah. I was employed here for a time. Straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. Uh, judging by your personality, I can fully well imagine that. So different. And then the mold happened. And then they were like, get your ass About back in here. Ago, yes. This stuff's been growing around Since here for four months. The Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me and I booked a like, flight. I can't imagine these guys just like going to conferences like normal office workers. <laughs> oh. I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. Jeez. So she's a professor. Uh huh. Sh that explains a lot. <laughs> that does kind of explain a lot. Moltos. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Like people. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. That would be good advice. Okay. Despite we how have cremated <laughs> these affected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity, a blooming, if you will. Uh, 
I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that, especially considering I have played Thanks The Last of Us, and these things My pleasure. disturb me enough as it is. I don't need them turning into fucking clickers. Like, seriously. 